Nebraska. This is a Petro. Uh, so my load is still here. Let's go check it out. And I got to turn my light on. So this is my first stop. I just went inside, had some breakfast. Here, yeah, diesel is uh, 325. Lots of spots, and also I see uh, lots of uh, lots of oversized loads. Yesterday it was raining like crazy, going through Iowa. Everything's good. See, it sits on this, on the support. Didn't bend anything. I don't see any any bending because this is pretty, you know, I don't know, five millimeter steel. But because I added so much uh, timbers in there, all right, uh, we have action. Now let's go see if we can uh, walk around that uh, pita built over there. You know, I'm drawn to these. Uh, now look at my truck, right? My truck is not the smallest in the yard, right? It's a pretty big truck because of these uh, tires and stuff. But by American standards. It's pretty short. Now, check out these guys over here. Wow. So it's a Trail King. Uh, let me just increase. Yeah, okay. We switch, switch to a different camera. So this guy has a three axle booster or stinger the trailer is three axle and the bed is massive it looks like it's at least two feet two feet tall and this is the nitrogen I don't see any nitrogen but yeah it looks like it's irregular but yeah this is massive so it's not gonna break right but these things probably weigh a ton, you know? <laughs> and so he has a 3XL Jeep. Check out the gooseneck, the size of the gooseneck. It's like, <laughs> look how thick the metal is over here. It's amazing, All right? And this over here, it's, uh, this guy just went to uh, somewhere, but this guy is still here. So see, it's a setback axle. Very unusual truck. Classic truck, Pete, but setback axle. You know? Very cool. So where else can you see all this stuff? So, sign up. Check in, watch Heavy Hall TV. Now known as uh, Kenworth Heavy. And over there we have more Heavy Hall guys, old Trail King, four axle trucks with Jeeps. Those are the uh, parts of the, uh, what do you call it? Wind generators. I had a couple of guys pass me today with the with the blades see yes, those things are scary you know they're so long and the tip is just flaps like this I was afraid it would hit me you know and these guys they passed me and now they all sit on the side of the road 
because this is uh, US 81, I think, or 83. And it looks like they were all going that way, somewhere into the field. And those guys are still here. All right, did I, uh, yeah, the engine, the light is on. So, you know. Oh, and finally, sorry for the delay, but uh, I tried six times, six times to upload episode 74, okay? Because I was in, uh, I tried in Illinois. I think I even tried Indiana, no. Illinois, Iowa, I was trying and trying, you know, I was using my phone. It just shows, you know, nothing is moving. The, like the percentage of, you know, video being uploaded, normally it starts, you know, like one, two, three, four, estimated time remaining, I don't know, 30 minutes is standard for a large file. But this file was uh, 1.3 or 1.4 gigabytes. And, uh, and it took a long time to finally find a location where the speed would be more or less reasonable. And it happened here. You know, I checked, uh, I actually what I did, uh, I restarted my phone. I restarted my phone because sometimes that helps, uh, you know, with the speed. And also I switched all my uh, settings on the computer to a different DNS where before it was all automatically chosen or selected right on the computer I don't know if that helps but they say you can increase your speed and I switched it to a faster DNS that I found online like you know free uh, server anyway so my speed has increased a little bit and now I left everything running and I went to have breakfast and by the time I came it says uh, processing 10% so it's uploaded they're processing it so now I can shut it off and so that's what I did I shut it off and uh, now I'm getting ready so this is York and I just did you know 220 kilometers 130 miles and I like to stop pretty much you know every 120 miles uh, and so now I, I use the tracker path and my next stop will be see just 228 kilometers which is again pretty much the same distance I just did so I'm going west on, uh, on sorry what's happening over here yeah I'm going west on 80 right and so my next stop will be I just found the approximate like a small truck stop over here, some Gutenberg, Kotenberg, something. Yeah, Gothenburg, Gothenburg. So that's my next stop. And uh, the goal, the goal today is to uh, reach the border of Wyoming, because this is 3:53, right? Mile marker 3:53, and so I have 353 miles to go to Wyoming. And I just did 120, right? So 470. So I think, uh, yeah, I want to do 500 miles. So I'll have to stop somewhere one hour, two hours away from Wyoming and call them, right? Uh, with the info. And then I go in into the port of entry and buy the permit. Because you have to call. If you don't call, they'll give you a ticket. Uh, and I think I'll end up somewhere at the first, uh, first truck stop in Wyoming. Like as soon as I enter, that's the plan. And then uh, uh, Monday, I need to get my Utah permit because it's been ordered last week, but I still didn't receive it. So, and I already talked to the guy who bought this machine and they were very happy to uh, to hear that I plan to deliver before before lunchtime on Tuesday. He guess it's excellent. So, wow, well, that's, that's why you pay us uh, the big bucks for, right? You want it fast, it'll be there fa uh, fast, you know. Well, you can probably tell by that funny uh, water tower that I'm at the Seb Brothers, Seb Brothers truck stop. And there's over there, there's a service center. And actually, I want to stop by and see if they can check my uh, 
oil in the dif in the differentials because for some reason it was heating up like not too bad you see like this is my uh, front drive axle and it was sitting at 200 and just going like 200 and uh, so this is uh, I think 250 so it was like 210 210 almost hitting the first this is my second one second one was uh, much less but it was like over here right and then the uh, transmission was also getting like over here second uh, second you know mark so I don't know but I know I just did um, I just did I just did oil change right and part of the oil changes they, they check everything except yeah it's very hot it's almost 90 degrees out for it was like 35 yesterday whole day and then um, I was driving in Iowa and so yeah this is uh, Wyoming so I started in Iowa today and I did uh, 535 miles so I drove all day and I crossed started in Iowa and I crossed Nebraska and uh, stopped uh, I think in Sydney I stopped in uh, Sydney Nebraska at a small truck stop and I got some fuel over there and called the port of entry in Wyoming and gave them the I said that you know I'm oversized load I need a permit and so they give me the reference number and that's it then they just give you this stuff like when you when you stop right they give you this she says Wyoming Highway Patrol a bunch of pages tells you what to do what not to do and uh, and that's why these loads should pay good money check this out uh, where's the amount uh, yeah it was like 260 bucks I think yeah and turns out I did not even realize that, that Wyoming charges by the you know by the mile per ton and I asked him how they calculate and he says they they take the amount that you're over 80,000 pounds gross and I'm 126 right and so they take that and divide by two so that's your imperial tons and Wyoming charges six cents per ton per mile okay so per ton of that difference right from the Legal. So basically, yeah, Wyoming and also Pennsylvania has the same system. So the heavier you are, the more expensive is the permit, you know. And of course, the permits come out of my pocket, so I just grab my visa and I paid right there in the port of entry. They have a machine there, right? And so that's it. So the plan is uh, so from here, I think it's about uh, 750 miles, about that, to uh, St. George or Washington, Utah, which is at the very bottom, right next to uh, Las Vegas, basically. Maybe I'll go and uh, play in the casino, or maybe win something after I deliver. And so the plan is uh, drive Monday to the end of Wyoming, and I gotta call my permit service company about the Utah permit, which was ordered, but I still don't have it. Because of course I cannot enter Utah without the permit. And then, well, they're in the permit service company is in Iowa, so now we're on the same. I think actually I'm now on the mountain time zone. Yeah, they own central. So, which is cool. So I can start driving at seven over there. It'll be already eight in Iowa. Okay, and so I'm gonna get a copy of that permit before I enter Utah, of course. And then just Utah is uh, I-15. But of course, from now on, I, over here, it was pretty hilly, right? And it's hot, and it's not too heavy, but it's still heavy, right? I'm 126,000 pounds. And you cannot drive without air conditioning. And so my uh, cool, my coolant, let's see what here. Coolant, the, the way it's set up is uh, it, um, the fan starts when it hits here, like the middle, 
let me see where I'm point pointing yeah 200 you see this is 250 so this is 225 so once the uh, the needle hits over here somewhere in the middle between 200 and 225 the fan starts but quite often and that's not that's too late you know and so I'm driving and I'm like an idiot I'm hitting this button over here that's my manual fan on some trucks they don't put it on anymore but on Kenworth they put it in you know and this was not that bad you know like I don't know what I'm gonna do in mountains you know but yeah it's very hot definitely like this is not your normal weather right you know but it's July right so today's uh, by the way today's Canada's Day and I just remembered at the end of the day that everybody's on the radio talking about Independence Day now wait a second July 1st July 1st that's Canada Day so now it's like big Canadian holiday so over there back in Canada people are marching there's uh, you know parade in Toronto it's really cool you know and so because of these mountains like really big hills I'm gonna be crossing so I wanna I wanna go and check my uh, see if they can do it tonight you know then I'll just drop the trailer drive over there and ask them to check my oil maybe the the oil is uh, because I didn't change it right so it's this is like I did the first oil change but we didn't change the differential oil because it's only the truck only has I don't know 20 20,000 miles on it but sometimes it helps right when it's a it's breaking in so maybe the oil needs uh, changing you know so I'm gonna go and find out otherwise I don't want to burn oil you know over, overheated in uh, when I go through the mountains but yeah, I don't have a, another load lined up. But the guys will unload me. They say they open 24-7. They're very eager to get this machine because it uh, looks like it's a replacement for something that caught fire or something. It's like an insurance replacement. They're really waiting for this. And so the plan is to deliver a Tuesday before the curfew for the holiday. And then, uh, I don't know, like nobody's going to be working. So I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing for a load but I guess I'll just shut down and do a reset a reset of my hours and get ready to start tracking uh, you know we'll keep an eye on the load board maybe Thursday uh, people will start posting loads but normally this week is really dead you know like this coming week uh, Independence Day uh, usually it's just you can forget about working you know but I need to do a lot of paperwork anyway, so now the the last day of June is the last day of the quarter, second quarter for IFTA. So now I have to do this. It really, it's a very time consuming process because I do it manually. I really should get some kind of software, you know, to do this IFTA. But I got my notepads over there with mileage, with uh, fuel purchases. So while I'm sitting, uh, without a load for the holiday that's going to be my my uh, fun project do the IFTA also I need to do similar thing but on a much smaller scale for New York New York State little report for this second quarter and Kentucky you know you gotta show your miles and how much fuel you bought and I think this time I did go into Kentucky so it can it cannot be a zero return like I did before because there was no miles in Kentucky now I went into Kentucky, so I gotta show it. So, so this coming week is gonna be. Uh, I'll try to uh, do a video tomorrow. Make sure my GoPro is charged, and uh, because there's some really cool views over there in the mountains, you know. We're gonna do some uh, driving POV. I'll maybe put it over here, so we'll see. Uh, anyway, so thanks for watching. Take care to be continued.